Well, we've been talking about transgressing or breaking God's law, breaking God's way of being, breaking God's structure in the earth. You've got to understand that Satan's coming to set up a snare or a trap because of your transgression. Go to ferventfire.com. Get the sermon of the month. You can understand that. He's, he's the one that sets that up. He's got plans for you. But you can stop that. You can stop that by repenting. You can say you're sorry to God. You can say you're sorry to people. And I want you to understand that. Church people, you need to listen to me. Just because you go to church and you ask for forgiveness from God doesn't mean that you don't need to go and apologize to the people that were involved in your sin that you hurt. That's what Jesus wants us to do. We've got to confess our transgression, not just to God, to one another. We've got to go to them and say, hey, the Lord revealed to me that I was wrong. You can stop the trap of the enemy simply by doing that, and you can keep going by doing what's right. Doing what's right. No, you're not God in the flesh. God already came in the flesh. He's perfect. He died for sins. He expected you to have some. But he also expected you to be filled with the spirit that presses you to go deeper into the things of God, higher faith from faith to glory to glory to a deeper relationship with Jesus Christ. I'm going to end this month's Monday Minutes on this transgression. Psalms 32, 1. There's a lot more text, but I just am going to end it right here with this scripture. Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Blessed is the man whom the Lord imputeth not transgression or iniquity, and in whose spirit there is no guile. Blessed is the man who's covered in his transgression. You want the blessing of God? It can't come on you until you repent, until you are covered by the blood of Jesus and find out where you were wrong. Look at yourself. Look at yourself. Go inward. I know there's hurt in there. I know there's hurt in there. A, a whole country's hurting right now. There's a spirit of hurt in the prophetic. Prophets are feeling hurt. God is hurt. Why? Because you're trying everything except using his love, his plan. Listen, you might be practicing sin. That doesn't mean you, you stop coming to God. You ask God to forgive you and you get up and you repent, receive his blood, say thank you for paying for my sin, and you let him teach you how to come out of its practice. You let the Holy Spirit help you stop this sin. There will be another sin to conquer, another attitude, another wrong thought, another wrong way of being. He's God. He loves you. Let's finish up with a few clips from the... Sorry. He's God. He loves you. I'll say it again. I don't think I'm going to go to clips today. Do you not understand that? Do you not understand? He died for your sins. I mean, really understand it. Not just leave some little fairy tale. Do you not understand that he's trying to teach you his way so you can be like God? The word became flesh. Jesus lived that word perfectly. He never picked up a stone. He did tell the truth, and people hated him for it. When I went out on the streets, I never seen such hate in people's eyes, pride and arrogance, denying that a preacher was even outside. I'm now fixing to go on a television show. Will you support that? Will you support that? Will you help me? I know everything else is so important. I know movies are important. You support those things. This is really important. It's important. It's about getting clean on the inside. It's about letting Jesus touch our hearts. It's about them understanding. And people have been in religion where it's all the do's and don'ts. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about wanting to do right. I'm talking about the spirit in you wanting to do right and you are pressing forward even when you make a mistake. I'm talking about the blood of Jesus covering you and, and asking for more of God's love. Love for God. Love for others. Love for what he did for you. Love for the principles that he put in the earth. Love. Love that, that when you do right, you're blessed. And also, when you do wrong, you're in pain. Thank God for the pain. Because if there wasn't pain, you wouldn't want to do right. Because doing right makes you feel good. That's why people want to give to the Salvation Army. That's why they like Christmas, because they give. Maybe the only time they do something right all year long. 
that you can do right every day by being filled with the Spirit of love and obeying God and telling the truth. And it is right to tell the truth. You're not going to justify it. And it's not narcissistic and all this stuff. You've got to love God. I'm not better than anybody. I just love God. And it's going to hurt you. It's going to hurt you. Well, if you want this month's Monday Minute, go to uh, ferventfire.com and uh, sign up for it. We'll send it to you by email. Uh, I really need supporters. I really need prayer to do what God's asked me to do. And I hope that you're called to help me. Let's fulfill this together and let's see this nation change. It's not too late. I love you. See you next Monday Minute.